First of all, you will notice that I truncated the body mesh. That way experimenting will be much faster and also it is necessary in the section that follows. In this video I will show what I did to get a better fit of the skirt. I used two methods which I will go into. There may be other and perhaps better ways to do this and any suggestion you might have is very welcome. The first method I used was keeping in mind that Blender will push the skirt out of it in the cloth simulation of this type anyway is this. With the rig in a resting position, um, I noted down the X and Z, X and Z dimensions to in the end panel in object mode. Keep in mind that in object mode Y and Z have changed places. I, I did the same for the body as a reference. Next, I went into edit mode and I scaled both body and skirt down to 0.95 by entering this value on keyboard in scaling mode. After this, I read it the simulation and baked it. Now, using the same procedure, I scaled up only the body with X and Y by a type value of 1.05. It is quite difficult to measure the gap in the baked version and it varies also. So it is a matter of trial and error to get the right values. 1.05 appeared uh, to be too much, so I found 1.02 as the best result. Let us look how this will turn out. If you, nothing happens of course on frame 1, on, on 2 again it pushes out and now can, you can see the thickness of the, of the skirt mesh which is set to 5 millimeters, which is not, not, uh, which can, which is not uh, visible at frame 1, but at frame 2 it is. Still, it has improved a lot since the previous phase. What I also did is um, the second method I, I used, which was adding a solidify modifier to the skirt stack. Um, again, it was already solidified with three millimeters and now there is another layer added uh, which uh, uh, means that there are now three layers and there is another layer added to the mesh. However, it is a rather low poly and it, it is not much of, of a problem. What it will show though is some artifacts. Uh, one of the layers is peeking through. Now this is in an area of the skirt where one would expect wrinkles anyway, so I have decided to keep it that way. Let's start the simulation. And as you can see in the front, it looks acceptable, I, I would think. Let's also have a look at the back. also acceptable.
Um, five millimeters is rather much for a denim skirt, but a la bonne heure. If it does the trick, who cares? And also, we always have to keep in mind the final usage of the whole project, and that will not be in close-up. Besides, with a frame rate of 25, nobody is likely to see details like that. So with that in mind, let's go to the final result. I quickly made a UV map using cylindrical and wrap and texture painted it with one of the default textures of Blender. I think for, for now the result is what I said, uh, accept, acceptable. At least uh, from front, side and back view. What about the top view? Ouch! Um, there is an issue here, as you can see. There is a wide gap in the front. Not so much in the back, but especially in the front. I want to try a lattice modifier to give the model a bit of a tummy. After all, she can afford it. Even when I succeed in this, I'll get back to you. But it may be a while, because after a month of playing and yes, uh, sometimes struggling with this simulation, I definitely need a breath of fresh air. So, I think this is all for now. Hope you have found these videos useful, and if so, I would greatly appreciate it if you let me know by commenting. Thanks for watching, and perhaps next time.